I was dealing with these people directly. And, and I mean, there's a raw, there's Brennan, there's our longest term relationships with the other people who come around. And it was, you know, the, the hackers, you know, there was, there was Mueller for a long time. There was Comey. And when they started setting this network up, they, uh, it was tied into every, every computer. I mean, it was tied into every agency, intelligence or otherwise. It was in the marshals and the secret service and the FBI and the CIA and the NSA. It was through all there and it was unrestricted because it was just tied, it was wide open. But it was supposed to be restricted to only the people working on it in this one location and the people watching over them because it was just, it was supposed to be a, a test bed to see if it would work and to get it up and running. Okay. Well, this was, they were using it like an unregistered, you know, no, no uh, oversight intelligence community because it was hooked into everything. They were taking information off of it. They were selling it. They were shipping it overseas. This is what I've documented. Oh. The, now they had, they, they still do. They, they still do, but now it's got now it's segmented. And now there's there's clearances to get in and everything. But at the time, it was wide open, and they used it. All of them: Hillary, Obama, when uh, who was it? Oh, it was one of them was bragging about Obama's secret database. That's what she was bragging about. No. This this is where Hammer came from. Where it was tested. Where other versions of it were tested. This is where it came through to grab info, and it wasn't. This will, this will really love. They weren't just spying on citizens, since they had wide open access. They were using it on the agencies themselves. They were sucking information out of everybody. Oh my gosh! The DOJ was setting up their own intelligence service, and they still are. Just I think it's about 15 years ago now they started the National Security Division of the DOJ, and. This was their next step. The DOJ is already directing our intelligence community. They're coming to them to see if it's legal, to see if you would do it this way, to see if it fits in this parameter. The, the DOJ lawyers with no field experience, no intelligence training, other than a few classes, are directing our intelligence work. That's scary. And you wonder why it's a mess. So they were using this massive computer system. It was virtually unlimited. It was like hooking every intelligence network and law enforcement together, which is what it was intended to do, but they were using it illegally. They were spying on people. They were spying on the federal judges, as many as they could get. They would compromise them. If they couldn't find something compromising on them, they'd plant it. Uh, the one example I gave online is true, uh, that one judge couldn't get close to him, but he had a son going to college. His son liked to set his computer, download movies, music, everything like that. Well, he just went in and change one. Now he downloaded child pornography. Didn't know that. That's not what he wanted, but it was child pornography. Well, Your Honor, we can keep it quiet, okay? Uh, you know, it doesn't have to come up right now. It's just manipulation. They do it to everybody. They wanted to control all the federal judges, and they got many of them. They got Roberts. He's, you know, you know who he is. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So now Rod was in charge of this CSIM's computer situation down here in Baltimore. Uh, I'm in Maryland, it's not a big secret. So uh, Rod was in charge of this. It was all prototype stuff and they were using it for everything. They were stealing stuff, they were selling information overseas, selling it to any government they get their hands on. Same thing the State Department was doing. They were actually going in to the State Department, into Hillary's computers, into her private servers, into the State Department's servers. They were breaking into them. They were altering emails, altering classification levels on emails. And in, initially, they would break into her server and alter, because she has filters. Uh, you can get on those servers, because I've seen it, I've seen all this stuff. Uh, they had access to her servers about three months after they went in. So whoever set them up over there is ridiculous. But anyway, they would go in. They, this is not, they would go into her servers, copy everything, mm -hmm. and then they pick out the, her filters. Would come if it came from a certain person, it would go right to her. If it was a certain classification level, then it would come to her notice or it would go to someone lower. They would go in and on the top stuff that was supposed to go to her, they would lower the classification level. 
so that she would never see it. <laughs> and then they pull it out, fix it back, and then they could sell it for more because it was higher classification. Oh. They were cutting her out, basically. Goodness. They also altered things. They, they would alter, you can alter one word in an email and change the whole meaning of it. So in, in the beginning, it was just observation. They were getting information. They were collecting information. Mm -hmm. And then it started to be altering. And then it became disseminating. And then it became, you know, altering and disseminating. And they could maneuver things. So they, 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 could, they could alter it and make a lot of money. And now this money was coming back and it was being laundered through myriad ways, but a lot of it was going through e-currencies, bitcoins and things. Quote, I voted for Reagan. I'd moved from communist to whatever I am now. I'm not even sure how to characterize myself politically. Inshallah, Sofa Adros Arabiya Maratani, Inshallah, Afwan.